Hello there, Rocket Man here in Overnight. I went out and gathered some resources. So we're gonna go up to our top floor here, do a little upgrading. If we can get up there. Yeah. Do a little upgrading and building, I guess. We still need a roof up here. And we need to finish these walls. And I am so happy for rotate on upgrade. Yeah, let's just build a roof now. And I'm doing some thinking. Some thinking, thinking, thinking. So my head hurts. I need to stop playing after this. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I've been doing some thinking. And... If I put the tool cupboard down in there... Pretty much planning on always having this open, so that's probably not a good idea. Uh, yeah, that's probably just not a good idea. I'll leave it where it's at for now, and then maybe eventually I'll go high enough and just be like, yeah, the base doesn't need to be any taller. I'll put a roof on it, but for now, that's going to be how it is. Whoa, what the fuck was that? I have like four mice in my room, so it's possible my dog just bumped one. <laughs> okay, so I'll upgrade all this to timber. And then I think I'm gonna go downstairs. And how much stone do we have? We have 15 or 2,500. That's not bad. So, this is actually sticking out, not that it's a big deal, I realized it, and only put shitty stuff in there, like, in the building plan, and some charcoal, and like a hundred wood, oh, we don't have enough, so that might not be sticking out anymore, not that it's a big deal. Do -do -do. I don't think we need to upgrade anything to wood. That kind of sucks. We're going to have a whole bunch of stuff in there. Should we'll see if it's sticking out before we leave too much good stuff in here. Oh, yeah, whatever. I'm pretty sure I have sulfur in that other chest. I could probably stack it up with. Yeah, I could have. Oh, well. Let's check. Let's see if that chest is sticking through it all. Yeah, there it is. Oh. See, I could access it when it was wood. I don't think I can access it now. Oh. There it is. Yeah, I can still access it, just barely. Right in the corner there. Uh, okay, not a big deal. This means I shouldn't leave that there for too long. But, I do need a furnace. I would like a furnace very much. I really wish you could just pick stuff up. Because I'm going to go grab those two furnaces that are in there. What is that? Is that a deer? That is a deer. Oh dear. They don't have much animal fat, but it's better than nothing, I guess. You can get a few deer. That'll suffice. The other thing is I can use the bones from this deer to maybe get a bone knife. Which will be really good if we find a boar. I think I need 50. How much of fat did we get? 7. Hardly anything. A boar or a bear? Would make me very happy right about now. It looks like 
looks like a board on there, but it's not moving at all. It's right there. Yeah, just a rock. Kinda wondering if there's something across the shore. Doesn't look like it though. Oh, something's moving up there. Hopefully it's not a player. <laughs> or I'm gonna get owned. Oh, yeah. Why are the boars stronger than the deer? There's a deer up there. Okay, so we're good. Not a player. Now let's check that bone knife. Because I'm pretty sure. Club. Where's the knife? There it is. 60. Oh my gosh. Can I get my other arrow? Thank you. 56. That's probably. Oh. Was a, a minute. Fuck that. Oh, and it was. It was. Animal fat, the last smack. I don't know what's going on in that base. Doesn't look like much. Oh, slightly too high. Oh, way too slow, these arrows. Really? I fucking hate how quick they run up these mountains. It's hard to gauge. Do -do 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 -do. It's doing burnouts. Eh, I like how the pirate name for a bone knife is Bone Saber. But a saber is a really long sword. A long and like fat. Like a pirate sword. This is nothing even close to a saber. <laughs> Maybe a bone dagger. Is that enough now? That should be enough. Should be damn close, but it should be enough. Actually, if we have cloth, which we do. 14 times 4. 4 times 4 is... 8, 16, yeah, we should get like 56 out of that. I'm gonna grab these because we got a couple more walls to upgrade. Actually, now that I think about it, do we even upgrade the armor door door frame? Because I think that still would, which should have been the first one I upgraded. So I don't lose my armored door. <laughs> oh, there's some lag. A little bit of rubber banding. So I was doing a little research when I was waiting for this uh, update to happen, actually. On where Rust is going and stuff like that. So many of you know about the levels, which I'm really excited for. Because I noticed within about 40 minutes of the server wiping, there was people with C4, face masks, face or, um, chest plates, AKs, like fully end game. They were at the end of the game. Like nothing left to do but just raid within 40 minutes. Which is bullshit. Like that, <laughs> for one, your game should take a lot longer to beat than that. And for two, that really sucks for people who don't have uh, eight players on their team or more. Because really how they do that is they just take all their players and they run through a rad town. They grab all the loot. Like, all the loot. Which means that they could have probably a thousand blueprint fragments on one run. And then they get two or three different guns, right? An AK. And with the thousand fragments, they've just learned how to make that AK. So you do that two or three times, and you have pretty much everything you need in the game. Um, so I really, really, really am excited for levels. Because that means it's all based on the individual. Like, I'm going to have to go out, and I'm going to have to, you know, collect wood, which will make my experience go up. Or I'm going to have to kill people, which will make my experience go up. But I can't go out as a group and pile it all into one person, that group effort. And that's really kind of what's fucking it up right now. Um, and the other thing is they're going to be adding, uh, like, rad bears or, or mutant bears or whatever, whatever it is going to be. Mutant animals is basically the general consensus right now. 
But the only reason they haven't done it is because of how shitty the animal animal AI is right now. Like that deer I was chasing around that's running up all over the rocks and through bases. Basically, their animal AI is such shit right now that they can't add <laughs> complicated boss-style animals. Did I really use all my stone? Wow. Um, oh, no. Do I not have enough stone now? Oh, I do. Okay, good. Because I still need to make the furnace. Where's the furnace? Oh, I need more wood. Do I have more wood? I do have more wood. Good, good. Yeah, so as soon as they've got the whole animal mechanics figured out, then they're going to be adding in, um, like, rad bears, mutant animals, whatever it's going to be. And they'll hopefully drop loot, like in Legacy, which I think will be very cool. Okay, so I'm going to put my furnace up here. Because we don't want anything on the bottom floor that people could use to boost up to our top floor. So say I was getting raided <clears throat> right now, I could... Oh, there's a window down there, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I was going to say, I could go just down here and wreck this ladder, but they could kill me through there, so that's a little backwards. But if they do boost up into here, they'll be stuck in here and I can kill them through the window. So it's a give and take. It's a give and take. It definitely is. Um, it'd be nice if I could hit the ladder from here. I might be able to. Uh, other thing I could do is just quickly block this off. And also, I could just put one there and stand on it and shoot the ladder out. So yeah, a couple different things I could do, but block the ladder off first, and then they have no way up here. Um, except for they would have the tool cupboard down there, which is why I would like to eventually have it in there as well. But we need a roof on there first. Oh, it's done. I was like, how come I can't see it? How, how much time is left? Um... You know, realistically, we could just put it through the wall. I don't think... Like... If they get into there, I'm boned anyway. And I'll be... Conscious of the fact, if you know what I'm saying... That... Um... That's not gonna work. Do we need high quality for anything right now? I don't need high quality for anything right now. Now that I think about it. So let's start that up. Let's go to our chest. Grab all this. And you know what? Let's just grab everything out of here. So I don't like that you can see in through that chest or grab it through the wall, rather. Grab all these also going to make a small stash and put it in here with my good shit. And hopefully they won't find it. And a small wooden sign to make getting in here a lot easier. Okay, let's put some more shit in here. Do I have a full stack of sulfur or something like that? Oh! It looked like a lot less sulfur that I had there. spot that they're probably not going to look at by accident. These stashes are weird how you can kind of rotate them. I don't really understand it though. Come on, get right into that wall. Whatever. That'll work. Let's put this in there for now. And everything else I think I'm going to pretty much use. So we'll just, well, I'll just bury that for the time being. Our wooden sign is almost done. 
I feel like I was crafting something else. Maybe not. Oh, another really cool thing that I found out. I guess I found this out a while ago, just haven't really talked about it, but they've actually made upgrading your base to metal useful. Before, it was really only the fact that... <sighs> excuse me. The fact that you could pickaxe through a stone wall, uh, and you could not pickaxe through a metal wall. That was the only reason to upgrade to them. But it was only one C4 to get through a metal wall, and it was two C4 to get through a stone wall. So, with a metal wall, you're more defended against noobs, but with a stone wall, you're more defended against clans with a bunch of C4. And stone wall is obviously a lot easier to get than metal wall. So it was kind of like, well, stone wall is the easiest one to get compared to metal, and it'll take you farther towards the end game. so why would you ever actually go to metal um, if it kind of digresses you back and it costs a lot more but now it, it takes 2c4 they've actually um all walls i think used to be what is a stone wall right now actually let's go look yeah it's 500 and the metal walls used to be 250 but now they're 750 i believe or they're 500 as well but they take less damage than the stone walls do with a pickaxe. So if it takes me five hits with the pickaxe to do one damage to a stone wall, it might take me ten hits with the pickaxe to do da one damage to a metal wall. So it's actually really useful now. Um, which I really like because there was no good reason for um... Oh, I need more timber. That sucks. There was no good reason for Metal at, or metal fragments, not good reason. There's no good use for metal fragments before. I'm I had like chests and chests of metal fragments that I never used in my last base, just because I had no reason for them. Like you, you can make clothes and the shit guns, like a water pipe or a revolver. But once you're not making revolvers and water pipes anymore, like there's absolutely no use for metal fragments. But now there is. That's cool. Let's see if I can get this in place. If you do it just right. There we go. That's what I want. I don't want to be straight on with the door so it's level. There we go. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. Damn it. I might have to knock that down. Yep. You can get it up more. More. <laughs> get puberty just there. Oh, it's going to impede it. It's going to make it really hard to get in there. Can I smack stuff when I'm on the ladder? No, I don't think so. I have to get back up in there. Whoop. 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 Damn it. Which is going to be really hard with this sign in the way now because the doorway is even smaller. Crouch, maybe. Try crouching before I get there. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna knock this down now. Do I have enough to make another one? Oh, I put all my wood in the furnace. But yeah, you can put it out a bit of an... more of an angle, so you actually land on it, and you can walk into the doorway. I don't know if you guys saw... on, uh... On the other base where I was grabbing the doors from. Let's see what it says. Oh my god, this thing's epic. It's a lot faster and it does more damage. I really like the bone knife, actually. Uh, how much do we have in there? 90. I'll just leave it. I'll also put these in there. Now, I wasn't really thinking because I'm going to have to put that stuff back in the chests anyway. It doesn't fit. Um, I'm just thinking because like this chest can be accessed from outside, which isn't a good thing. 
so I want to put my least valuable items in here. Yeah, we'll just do that. That should be good. Okay, so I need some more wood. That's pretty much it, actually. I can always use more stone right now. But let's go for some wood. I bring any. <laughs> I bring any. Any stone is what I was going to say. I need a drink. My voice or my uh, throat's all dry and I keep cracking up. Yeah, I'll grab a little bit of wood here so I can make a couple more signs and keep that furnace going. Um, <laughs> I was just thinking to myself when I want to build that roof, and I was thinking for the centerpiece anyway, the iris of the eyeball. Um, I was thinking maybe once you can't see it, like you can't be walking around, like see how I can kind of tell from here even? Damn it. Um, I was thinking maybe once you couldn't see it at all, I would just leave it open and nobody would know. And you wouldn't even think of raid towering. And then I realized there's pretty much a rock structural raid tower beside our base already. So we'd have to build it like 20 stories tall before they couldn't see in it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to put a roof on. Eventually. to make a I said to you and another stone pickaxe mine as well and we'll grab this because it's in a bush anyway and we'll get a little bit more wood head back finish up that base a bit put that that, uh, that sign in place basically is all we need for now Be nice to get a fully upgraded second level as well. Oops, I don't have my hatchet out. Toss that one. So this is kind of what I was talking about. I like to do, and I can't do with those other trees. I like to just move around a little bit, survey all sides. This is what I did on Legacy a whole bunch, but now you can just kind of look around without moving. But I do like actually moving because you have the chance of avoiding a, a headshot, right? Somebody's sniping me down, lining me up. They might go to shoot and I go, hey, what's over here? And then they miss me. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Just sitting in one place though, I know makes it easy to shoot you. So I don't like to do it. I don't like to. I really should put doors back on tool cupboard bases just to kind of preserve that area, keep it my own. Because right now it's just kind of a free base for somebody. Realistically, I should have just started using those as a base. But oh well. My main reason, I actually thought about it and the only reason I didn't want to is I'd have to hack out a ceiling tile. And I didn't want to do that. That sounded boring. Plus the base design was boring. <laughs> I like this hollow center thing. This is pretty cool. I might make a new base uh, with a large furnace in it. I have this one take me just, uh, oh, we need just a da, 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 beginning game kind of thing. Beginning base, make a whole new one eventually. Maybe use this as like an entrance or something. Who knows? Who knows? Ah, oh, this is such a bad place for the tool cupboard. I can't believe I didn't even think about it. I'm just like, yep, right there. Put it there. The first thing I want, other than that wooden something also, is... Oh, too soon. A chest. So I need some metal for it. Uh, do we want a first aid chest? Yeah, let's make an ammo chest. Oops. Yeah. We can fire this back up. Also, I don't need those. 
You didn't get much wood while we were out there. Boy, am I ever lazy. Hey, look at that. There we go. <laughs> that was weird. If we can get this from above, I'll be really, really happy. See, that's the angle we want with the other way. See, I feel like I'm standing on it now and it won't build. Alright, folks, after a lot of deliberation, I figured it out. So I put this here, um, knowing, like, you guys probably saw before, I was saying, I want it like how it is here, but on that side. So apparently, you can only do it on the exterior of the wall, which is kind of annoying. But, hopefully if we do this, and then maybe... Okay, let's really think about this before we switch it back. Yeah, I really feel like I want it the other way. Okay, so that's still good. And I can just destroy this. And I'm actually going to put this up here as well. Just so if people are looking from a distance, it doesn't look like a big open hole in the base. Yeah, they probably will notice it's twig and it pretty much is an open hole in the base, but it's not as eye catching. So let's see if this works now. Oh. Gorgeous. So we can walk out with these, get on the ladder, and then we just drop on. Except for we should probably do it a little better than that. I tried to actually just drop onto it. <laughs> okay, so that's good. And then we need to put our door back in, and we're secure. Secure as we'll ever be, anyway. So, right side, no, we want it this way. Wait side strong side yeah, yeah. And another code on there perfect okay so I think that's it for this episode guys went a little longer but I wanted to figure out that sign thing I'm actually quite happy with that though it really does make him getting make getting in and out of this area a lot easier so thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing and thanks so much for hitting that like button oh that's, that's just perfect see if I can even stand here now kind of pushes you off but you get a few seconds there oh oh i forgot about that <laughs> i'll see you in the next one later days